What is going on guys? We just had the Azrael siege and hopefully everybody did as good as they wanted to man I decided at least with this siege unlike the last siege I was not going to spend any gems on extra character fragments. I instead spent it on Artemis I think that was a good move. I don't know. We'll just have to see but we ended up clutching out barely Barely enough and a high enough rank in order to legendary Azrael. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to legendary unlock him. I'm going to upgrade him a little bit and then hopefully be able to check out his abilities. Maybe see what type of team I could put him in. I'm really not sure, but I can't believe I actually finished with exactly enough fragments in order to be able to do this. That's just, I don't know. I guess, um,. I guess I was thinking that maybe I should buy the 100 fragments, but now it turns out it definitely wouldn't have been worth it because if I did do that, then I would have still been short. I still would have been 30 short, right? Because L2 would have been 130 and you can only buy 100 at a time. So I'm certainly glad I spent all of those on Artemis, especially since it was 150 instead of 100. But let's see this legendary unlock. Uh, as far as skits go, I mean, look, I, I'm not gonna say that, that most of their skins I really like, cause I do, I really like a lot of their skins. And if you like, maybe put your hand, you know, kind of in front, like from the waist down, he kind of looks all right. Maybe from like the shoulders up or something, he looks all right. But I don't know what it is, man. Them them super skin tight jeans with the tucked in shirt just looks really awkward to me. I don't know. Y'all have to let me know if you're feeling the same thing I am. But uh, yeah, that's what he looks like. I mean, like I said, if you're talking about like maybe chest level up, I think he looks pretty cool. His arms look all right, but everything below his waist, man, it just looks a little weird to me. As far as his abilities go, uh, damage to a single enemy, gain one strength up, apply 20% additional damage if Azrael has true sight. So uh, I think think I believe with him you're gonna want to add the legendary that has true sight so I'm not sure which one that is if that's the the passive or what but the upgrade for the first ability perch three buffs on target okay holy of holes gain two strength ups 15% shield debuff immunity 15% turn meter if as you is true sight yeah I think true sight's the way to go 50% to use vengeance blades on a random enemy 100% if Azrael has true sight. Yeah, okay. I think just about everything in his kit, he has to has true. He has to have true sight. Uh, damage to enemy. Ignore shields if Azrael has true sight. Apply 50% turn down meter on target doctrine. 50% chance to use holy of holes when damaging an ally. When an ally receives damage, and then uh, Azrael gains a light overheal. Sanctum. Each time Azrael gains one or more buffs on his turn, 50% chance to gain true sight. So I'm guessing that Lex is not going to play a factor in this because I was thinking right when it started that, you know, as much as Lex buffs up the team and stuff, it has to be on his turn. So yeah, that's not going to work. But um, Azrael starts combat with true sight so i i think that's a no-brainer you got to go with number five now i kind of thought that maybe i would level him up to level 60 or at least level 55 but being that yeah i kind of need batman for the raid and i really need to use some of these on batman and i really need to save some essence on batman i'm just gonna do 50 just like i did with artemis and then we're gonna test her out after we add some gear and again with the gear man i need to save some for batman unfortunately so i'm just gonna go up to gear three which would kind of give me i guess a general idea whether or not i mean i'm sure he's good i'm sure he's good but uh, whether or not, you know, I want to spend everything to level them up to where the rest of my best 
heroes are. Now, as far as his abilities go, you know, one is just basically straight base damage. So, uh, yeah, we'll get a couple into that one. I think maybe, what do we want to do? Uh, yeah, we'll do all the way up to the first strength up. So we could get a plus five. I guess we got plus five and two strength ups. Uh, the second ability is just going to have shield and then strength up at level four. So I'm probably going to hold off on that. And then this third one, we got damage plus five again. So we'll put in a couple in that one. Uh, nothing really happens. It's just all straight base damage. And then the passive, 50% to use Holy of Holes. Um, yeah, we need to put some in that because we want an extra percent chance. So we'll put, I guess, two in that. And then Sanctum is the same thing. Uh, also gain a percent chance each time uh, he receives buffs from himself. So if passive at the first, if the first passive triggers, then he's not gonna gain true sight because that's not his turn, I would say. That's just an assumption. I don't know that for a fact, but that's just an assumption. If the first passive triggers, he won't gain it no matter what, just because it's not his turn. He has to use his one or his two on his turn in order to get true sight. So as far as his stats go, I mean, that's what it looks like, you know, right now. Um, I wouldn't say that, at least to me, it doesn't seem like anything too impressive. What's crazy is that, well, for one, he's slow. 82 total speed, but again, I don't have a lot of gear in there. And his crit chance, starting off at 7%, which is really nothing. I wouldn't say that I necessarily care about true... Uh, his crit chance though because I kind of just want him to get true sight if you can get him to have true sight at all times gaining the strength ups constantly kind of like snowballs into a powerhouse right so you don't need the crit now I'm gonna start off with something probably pretty silly um, I'm not sure that I'm gonna really make it considering you know the enemy team but this is PvP. The only reason why I'm trying it is because it's the AI PvP. You know, when they put it on your on your list, the you know, every once in a while you get like the AI opponents. So I'm actually gonna try that and see how it works. I'm hoping that Kilowog and Cersei can slow him down enough to maybe see if we can activate that stuff. He's gonna start with true sight, obviously. And uh, we're going to do Kilowog on Cersei. And then Cersei hopefully do, does turn down. And then so he's going to go. And now his one damage to a single enemy. Gain two strength ups. Apply 20% additional damage if he has true sight. And then two. Gain two strength ups. 15% shield. And apply debuff immunity. 15% to gain true sight. Uh, turn meter up if he has true sight. So I think you're gonna want to start. I think you're gonna want to start with two. I would think. So that's what we're gonna try. Let's see the animation. Okay, got a big shield, and it buffed everybody else up as well since there's Lex. Now he still has true sight. We're gonna gain speed up that time. Okay, that wasn't bad. What we do not want is, um, let's see, green lantern or cyborg to attack them. That's what we don't want. So I'm gonna put a little strength down. Okay, I'll just destroy him. Now, I guess for the second turn, would it be better to do this because you get 20% additional damage if he has true sight, or is it better to do this Heavy damage, ignore shields. I'm going to go with a one. I'm going to try one. No, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do three. I'm going to th see what three is. Okay. That's not a whole lot of damage. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot of damage. And you see that he just buffed up when Lex took damage. So that was awesome. All right, Lex. Destroy Huntress. See ya. Take him down a little. Now, who are we scared of? We're scared of the green, because we don't want to die. Okay, so that wasn't bad. We took damage, got a strength up. See if this hits any harder. Not much. It doesn't hit much. Let's give him some extra boost. 
Okay. Add a little intelligence down on him again. We'll take him out. And then hopefully he doesn't die before he gets another turn. Uh, let's do a shield on her because I, I just want to see him take another turn. Okay. So this is another buff. And he doesn't have true sight now, but he gets 15%. I just want to see him attack again with all the strength ups. Kind of sucks because he has a lot of intelligence ups too. That wasn't bad, I, w I would say. I wouldn't say that that was bad. I mean, he's like 2,000 power lighter. Okay, don't kill him. Don't kill him. I think this is going to kill her. Yeah. I guess let's try him in a red alert as well. I think maybe that might be the best bet instead of just regular campaign, you know, going against a team that's of similar power at least. Now, obviously, I would normally not use him in red alerts. You definitely need a more balanced team. He needs to be a lot stronger. If we get tagged by Hot Girl or Green Lantern, I would say that he's pretty much GG, but... Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. Hopefully we can get some buffs um, And hopefully we could keep him alive. That is the key part. We're gonna try to keep him alive get some speed and We want to uh, obviously Kind of put intelligence down on the greens just in case just in case he dies So we'll give him some strength up as well. He got a whole bunch of shield We'll put intelligence down on both the greens. Now, he does have true sight. So, what do we want to do? We want to do that one. Or do we want to do that one? Gain two strength ups. I think we'll do that one since he already has since he already has it. So, let's see what he can do. Barely any damage. He, like, ticked him. Just a tiny little tick. Take off some buffs from him. Ouch. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Good thing we did that. Okay, so we can stun. What is that? Crit immunity? Yeah, that's crit immunity. So I ain't worried about that. So let's do... Um, I guess we'll stun Hot Girl. Put some turn meter down on everybody. Um, nah, let's just kill him. I want him to go again. He still has true sight. So gain two strength. That was 15% shield. We'll do that one, and there's nobody that we can... Oh, wait. That's a self buff. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get an extra buff as well. Get rid of Batman. And then I suppose we will work on Hot Girl. Get rid of her. Okay, no big deal. Uh, hopefully this doesn't kill her. Okay, good. I want to see one more attack. So he only has a couple strength ups at this point. Now, he might have to start all over when he does this. So, I don't know. Hmm. Probably not going to hit that hard considering these are like 5,500 power characters. Yeah. He barely even tapped her. Barely even tapped her. But at least we got to see some of his abilities. Now, as far as team comps go, I'm really not sure what you would want to put with him. Um, probably some sort of uh, team that can give a lot of buffs to people. Like, I don't know, some strength ups and stuff. Maybe Wonder Girl or something. And then maybe a taunter that could keep him alive at the start. Like, guaranteed to keep him alive since he is kind of slow. He goes last. But uh, I don't know. We'll have to mess around with it and see how we how we can fit into everything. I'm not sure if I'm going to level him up because all the characters that I work on, level 60, gear 10, and then max out the rings and stuff. But I don't know if he's there yet, if I want to do him um, like that anyway. But y'all have to let me know. Do you like him? What do you think of him? And all of that stuff. But until next time, guys, hopefully you did enjoy. If you have not seen or tuned in, you know, we do stream over on Twitch. The link is below. My other YouTube page is also linked below and my Twitter. I'll see y'all next time. I'm out. Peace.